Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Undermine. Uh, this is a roguelike similar to Binding of... It's called Binding of Isaac, but... Obviously that's the main character's dead name, so... Binding of Magdalene? Binding of Eve? I don't know. It's similar to that game. Um, this game came out, I think, 2019, but they've recently released a port to Switch. And that's when I started hearing about it, so uh, I haven't played it. Um, my housemates have played quite a lot, so I know mostly what to expect. I've seen it being played, but I haven't played it, so let's have let's give it a go. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's similar to that game, but I think less gross, more fantasy instead of poop. So <laughs> let's see how we do. Loading. Still loading. I don't know how long it'll take to load. It might need like a first time load. Or it might be like this every time. Who knows? Undermine. Play, options, credits. Options? Uh, that's fine the way it is. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, you can turn off screen shake and stuff like that if you wish. Uh... Input, you can remap the controls by the looks of things, if you so desire. Okay, you out there. Get in here immediately, alright. Okay, I can move with the, uh, the analog stick, I cannot move with the D-pad. I suspect that will do something else once later on. Do not test my patience. I'll walk you in here if I have to. Oh, hello. Peasant, I have an important task for you. As you have noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. And there is another thing. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him the forge lies dormant. If we are to delve deep into the Undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment. Find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. Uh, I got a key. Wait, peasant. Take that journal on the table. Artifact discovered. Journal. Press minus to open the journal. Keep that journal with you. Refer to it if you ever seek an answer to a question. Okay, so we're playing as Zalaring. Uh, you can see that we have a pretty basic kit at the moment. Uh, we can scroll through this menu with the L and R buttons if we so desire. There's a bunch of stuff we can see that none of which is going to help us yet. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like a merchant stand. Okay, so uh, we can go down here. This is where the blacksmith should be. Uh, they're not here. Incidentally, you can see the version number in the corner, 1.0.0.0. Uh, the Switch version is a little out of date compared to the other versions of the game, apparently, uh, because Nintendo are dragging their feet about certifying the update to make it like in line with the other versions. So there'll be some stuff missing here, and there may be a couple crashes, but. Uh, generally we should be okay. Uh, we can also go up here, find this suspicious looking powerful door. Uh, don't know what's up with that. Unlock. Let's go down. We're now entering the Undermine. The Gold Mine. Gold Mine 1. So we jump with the B button, uh, A button doesn't do anything yet, Y button swings our little pickaxe, X button doesn't do anything either. Uh, okay. Press B to jump, oh a tutorial, okay. Yeah that makes sense. Jump. Jumping dodges enemy attacks. Press Y to attack.
does this say? Press A to drop a bomb. Okay, so A button is bombs. So we can get a key, which we can use to unlock this door with X. There we go. Press R to throw a weapon. Okay, so it's the R button to do that. Like, I know what moves are in the game. I don't know what buttons they're on because I've seen the game being played, but I haven't played it. <laughs> uh, but wherever pilfers, they are thieves. All oh, right, yeah, these guys show up uh, whenever there is some gold on the screen and they try to take it away. Uh, they are harmless, but if you want to get the gold for yourself, they're a bit annoying. You can whack them away if you want, but you can also just wait until they leave. Butcher's Cleaver. Relic. Sometimes drop meat from your enemies. Once belonged to the king's personal butcher. Pudge was ejected from the kingdom when he developed a taste for the flesh of the dead. That's a bit scary. Good luck, peasant. Onwards. Gold mine too. If gold mine is so good, why is there no? Oh, uh, you may notice our little bird here is uh, collecting some of the gold that drops. I believe that is their special ability. Canary, a miner's best friend. In a weird change of pace, this canary seems to outlive the miners it works with. Helpful assistant, the canary picks up gold for the peasant. Philosopher's Touch. Gold picked up by the canary and the peasant is increased in value. Pilfer Spirit. The canary gains speed and can steal gold from pilfers. Handy. Okay, we got some enemies here. Uh... Ah! I'm on fire! Oh dear. Oh, I got an achievement for walking in the water to put out the fire. Neat. I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> it's going to take some practice. Uh, as with Hades, yeah, my first couple runs are going to be pretty bad. Hello. I'm going to talk to you. Talk. Hello, would you like to join a loyalty program for uh, 1,200 gold? Yeah, but I don't have that much gold. Uh, our glycerin. That sounds cool, but I can't afford it. I might get the steak. Just heal up a little bit. There we go. That's not good. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Watch out for the naughty flies that choose big attacks at you. Okay, uh, let's go this way first. These things enemies? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, I know you. Oh, hey there, friend. Name is Wayland, and I'm the blacksmith. I was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those quakes caved the entrance in. It's cool. I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. Drop out my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll keep you out in all the best gear. I also craft any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in that chest over there, free of charge. All right, see you soon, pal. Okay. By the way, if you can afford it, I suggest buying that pickaxe on the rack there. Did a fine job on that one. Okay, see you again soon. Uh, return to his forge. Open. Oh, what's the blueprint? Get. Oh, I got the pickaxe. That's okay, I wanted that anyway. That increases the damage of my swing. Uh, Wayland's boots crafted at the blacksmith. 
Uh, I assume they're worth having. I don't know what they do, though. So yeah, my swing should now do a little bit more damage, uh, which is probably quite helpful. <sighs> I don't know how much it's upgraded by. Uh, if I press... There we go. You can see there's like a 1 there, because I've got 1 upgrade to that one. Whereas these others are just the defaults. Okay, it's like 17 to 20 instead of like 15, so yeah, it's a little bit better. Ah! Okay, well that wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> Hang on, I think I saw some gold. Yeah, in the wall there. Thank you, pilfers. Okay, uh, I guess we've cleared out the first floor. Unless I can get a key from somewhere, because there is a locked door over there. Uh, but I don't think I have any way of opening it. Uh, let me check this, check around and see if I can find a key. Just in case. Uh, the shop doesn't have one. What if I break some stuff? I believe we can get the shop to stock more things, and then we might be able to get a key, but right now it doesn't stock as many things, we need to upgrade it. So I guess we'll miss out on that room for now. Uh... Oh, there we go, nope, there's a key. Let's go. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, so if you look at the little mini-map down there, you can see the locked room we're headed for. Uh, it has like a blue thing on a pedestal, like a diamond or whatever. That means that in that room there will be a relic, like this one. Salamander Tail, chance on hit to ignite your enemies. Separated from the legendary creature Seer, the tail still rides in agony. So that gives a bit of a power up, uh, in combination with the butcher's knife thingy we got on the first floor. So yeah, l like a lot of these games, you get a bunch of miscellaneous bonuses by grabbing random junk as you progress. <laughs> um, cool. Let's head down to the next floor. I don't know like how far we're going to get on my first try, but we'll see how we do. Get out of the way, Pilfer. Gold is for me. Down we go. <laughs> Okay, so this will be gold mine three. Put some meat there. Yum yum yum. Gold mine three. What's that chest doing? Oh, there's a rat. Go away. <laughs> ah. I keep using the X button to be throw, but it's not. It's the R button. There we go. Uh, let's, let's check this room with the exclamation mark first. Oh, hello. Uh, who are you? Requires a special key. Don't bother, it's locked tight. I'll let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here, and look where it got me. If you help me out of here, I can help you out too. I have some useful skills being a bombsmith and all. Okay, so I gotta look for the special key to open that door. Ah! I'm guessing this little mini boss will have this special key if I can manage to defeat it. Oh dear. Okay, it doesn't have very much health, but I'm having trouble avoiding it. Oh no, I have been defeated. <sighs> Continue. Zalring has died, smashed by a sentient rock. Votus voted most likely to die in a mine. Uh, back to the hub, I guess. Pet 
Peasant, I have something for you. Get in here, peasant. Okay, we are now playing as a different peasant. Peasant, you've returned. Oh, someone new. Very well. Peasant, I have gathered some special items that may help you in the Undermine. Feel free to use the gold you mine to pay for them. They will, of course, remain company property. Do not fret, though. Your canary will ensure they are passed on in case you meet your end. Uh, I mean, I do want these things, but I don't have the money for them. Uh, by the way, we have the mirror now as well. Uh, what this does, you just stand here. It randomizes your character. Uh, there are only like two sets of gender presentation available, but it's alright. It could be worse. It could just be the one. <sighs> uh, we might be able to do something at the forge, but I doubt it because we have so little money. Oh hey, it's my bud. Are you a bit taller now? I mean, you're definitely not as colourful. Anyways, thanks for giving me a hand out of that cave. I've cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. Check them out. All the finest quality, I promise. If you buy something, I'll supply it to you and all your buds. You know, in case you... Well, you know. Also, I can craft relics. If you come across any blueprints in the mines, bring them my way. I believe we cannot craft anything yet. Yeah, we need to have that purple stuff, which is thorium, to craft things. Wayland crafts relics for thorium. When a relic is crafted, you may use it on your next run. It will be lost when the peasant dies, but it can be found again on subsequent runs. You may craft more than one relic at a time, but you only take the first on your next run. All crafted, cra crafted relics can be found on future runs. And yeah, we can't actually afford to craft this yet because we don't have any thorium. Uh, so we will just... Uh, we can afford this. We increase our range damage. So let's do that. Thank you. And now we are basically out of money. So we are going to go on another run. <laughs> uh, down the hall we go. So yeah, you can probably get an idea of the gameplay loop already. Although, of course, we'll go a bit further than this first time. Uh, since we are a little more powerful now. The gold mine. Oh, kind of them to give us some bombs right at the start. With some bats. We should grab some gold so we can keep upgrading. Uh-oh. Uh I peeped at the skeleton and it came to life. Oh dear. I don't know how much health this thing has, so that's scary. Oh god, I am already below half health. I'm not doing well. Um... Any meat here? Uh, okay, I can get a relic over here basically for free, so let's do that. Uh, it's the cleaver again. I assume we haven't unlocked a whole lot of stuff yet, so it'll only show us a few different relics. Uh, I don't know if we have to craft all of them to have them start showing up in runs or not. We'll see, I guess. Uh, this is a locked chest. Let's open it up. Uh, we got a bomb. We've got some gold. Oop. Hey, you! Dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh, down we go, I guess. I was hoping to find a bit more health before we went, but uh, we didn't. So, down we go. <laughs> Gold mine level two. Okay, that door is locked. Uh, it's probably worth getting the relic behind it, but I might just head forward a little bit and see what else is around. Yeah, there's a locked chest there, which may also be a good idea. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, that blue stone we smashed a few rooms back, that gives you uh, temporary lightning powers. It just ran out. <laughs> uh, so that was cool while it lasted. 
Uh, what have we here? Me not being very good at dodging, basically. Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die real quick. Yep. I'm not very good at this game yet. Um... You'll notice we only kept about half of our gold. I believe there is an upgrade that will let us... <laughs> Gesture has died. Glomped. Will not be remembered. Will not be missed. Oh no. <laughs> we were glomped. <sighs> okay, we now have a different peasant. Chris Dice. Uh, we don't get to pick the name, it's just randomised. So... You better be cool with that one. Uh, I want to get these glasses as soon as possible. Peep the names and health of your enemies. I wanted to read the rest of the text before I selected it. Hang on. Typically unaffordable to peasants, but the mine's health plan partially covers the cost. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're now out of money again, so we're just going to have to go on another run with what we've got. Down we go. <sighs> okay, we get a free relic by going this way, so let's start with that. Ooh, it's a lunchbox. Relic, store a piece of food for later. The best time of day is midday when the pickaxes are down and the sandwiches are up. Nice. I don't know how to use the lunchbox, but we can keep food in it. Uh, one piece of food. So, if we have full health like we do now, and we find some food, we can hang on to it, which is nice. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna stay having full health for long, though. We'll see. Music's quite nice. Uh, what have we in here? There's some meat. I think I put it in the lunchbox. I don't know how to use it though. It says one in lunchbox, so I guess I guess I put the other one in the lunchbox. Okay, I tried to peep that. They can sometimes have useful items if you peep at the skeletons, but sometimes they can attack you. That one didn't do anything though. Uh, hello creepy portal. Okay. Uh, let me just smash all your possessions first. I hope that's cool. Okay, so the dealio with this uh, friendly fellow. What is this? A creature as pure as the void. Tell me, creature, are you not tempted by the flame? Power comes at a price, but the trade is always fair. Uh, the deal is, you can have these relics for a bunch of curses. Uh, you can see it says five, and over here it's three, but it's like a scarier icon. So you can have five mild curses to get a karmic scale, or you can have Three real bad curses to have the chakram. The chakram is really good, um, so I might get that. Again, like, I haven't played the game, but I've seen it being played, so I have a pretty good idea of what's worth having. Uh, let's go for it. Okay, we now have three curses. Let's see what they are. Uh, vulnerable. Receive more damage. Waking light. Torches and lanterns fire fireballs. Blessing Eater. Killing enemies destroys a blessing. Oh no. I don't have any blessings, so I don't know what that's going to do, but we'll see how we do. Okay. Onwards to the actual next area. But now we have a Chakram, so hopefully that'll come in handy. Uh, hopefully we can find, uh, something to get rid of curses. I believe the thing you need for that is a talisman? 
Uh, I haven't seen any in this game, in this run yet, but... Ah, I was pranked by my own Chakram. So yeah, what the Chakram does, it makes, when you throw the blade, it just sort of hangs out wherever it reaches. So, it can be handy if you put it, like, on top of an enemy perfectly. Because then, that enemy will just continually take damage, which is, which is good. Uh, it does mean that you do not have your pickaxe to swing it at people, because it's put, like, out there spinning around. So it is a bit of a risk. Uh, I don't have any keys, so I can't open any of those doors. Yeah, there we go, that was a good shot from throw. Oops. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, chop, chop. And yeah, the torches are going to be throwing fireballs at me because I have that curse now. So that's going to be super fun. <laughs> uh, what have we here? We've got a chest, but it's locked. we got a little bit of treasure here. Some of the supply crates that might have some stuff in them. Ow! Another bomb. I do like bombs. The skeleton didn't have a key. I thought they might. That's a shame. Uh, there's also this fire stone, so let's get some firepower, uh, and then fall down a hole by accident, take a bunch more damage. I'm not very good at this game yet. <laughs> okay, um, uh, let's just proceed to the next level, I guess, because I can't open any of these chests I keep finding. Down we go! Okay, there's a key in the middle of the room. Keys are good. These guys die in one hit anyway, so seeing them on fire doesn't help that much. The rats don't, though. Uh, we can bomb our way into the key. We have some bombs to spare, so mm, let's give it a go. There we go. Got a key. I'm going to die very easily. I do not think this run is going to go super well. Uh, oh, it's this guy again. Um, ow. Oh god. The fire. Oh no. <laughs> My lunchbox. Was told by the fortune teller that she would die a terrible death. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. I think we have a little more gold. We might be able to get an upgrade or something with our next friend, Kenline. Ken Ken Kenline? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, yeah, we can afford a couple of these. Hmm. I'm leaning towards getting a better gold sack. Uh, my current gold sack has. 50%, so it goes up to, I think, 55 if I buy this. Because then I can get a bit more gold out here and get more upgrades. 55, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Down we go. So yeah, you're probably getting an idea of how this game works by now. <laughs> Uh, is there anything of interest in this first room? Doesn't look like it. I can break those. Oh, there's a bit more gold. There we go. Off we go. Normal pickaxe again, instead of a cool chakram. I wasn't doing super well with the chakram anyway, so probably better not to use it just yet. There's another power-up that it goes real well with that I think we unlock later in the game. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Uh... Ow. I just threw the spikes. Wow. 
Where are all my cool supplies? Uh, here we've just got a twirly whirly. That's what those are called, right? Twirly whirlies. Okay, I'm gonna get a relic up here. Uh, it's a meal ticket. Free food at the shop. That sounds good. Provided we go to some shops, that'll pay off. <laughs> Over here is a treasure chest. Oh, it's got a key in it. That's helpful. Uh, hey, you, come back here. Dang it. Okay, uh, that's about all that's in here. Uh, was there a locked thing I could open with the key? Or, I don't remember. I don't think so. Might just head back and have a quick look though. I don't have any time bonuses or anything, so I won't be losing out by having a quick look. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Onwards. Okay, gold mine too. Try this way first. Okay, there's a chest there. Um, let's take out the enemies first, so we can think about the chest without thinking about death. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so to deal with these chests, I believe we need to put a bomb on it in order to break the rocks off, so we can actually open it. We don't have any bombs though. So, uh, let's remember that, and maybe we'll get a bomb and come back. Okay, this room has a bomb in it, uh, which we can get for a key. Hmm. I'll think about it. We may want the key for something else, so we might come back. Uh, if we don't need the key for something else on this floor? We'll see. There is a locked door in the next room, so we may want the key for that. <laughs> Rats. Okay, rats defeated. Uh, locked door leads to a shop, which could be good because there's free food, and we might be able to buy something good as well. Hmm. Oh, there's another key. Hmm. But there's another lock as well. <laughs> Trade-offs. Uh, let's see. That lock leads to a relic. Relics are good. Hmm. Okay, let's get the relic and then maybe the shop, because I'm a little I did take a little bit of damage there. It might be good to go heal up. Oh, did I read out all the, all the text from the meal ticket? I don't think I did. Free food at the shop right now. Illegible dude to just, just indiscernible scribbles. Bud has a crude drawing of a sandwich. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go this way. Uh, what's in here? Ooh. Battle standard. Increases move, attack, and throw speed at the beginning of battle. Even peasants can intimidate their enemies with the correct livery. Cool. I guess we have the correct livery now, so that's cool. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, we also want to go check the shop, which is up this way, across this way. There should be some free food from the meal ticket. Yep, there it is. And we might be able to buy something else of interest. Maybe another key. Inscribe with the crest of the Kingdom of Delvemore, a rampant liger. Huh. Um. Okay. Uh. Alright, let's go. 
Uh, I have another key I can use to open something. I need two keys to get there because I have to break them in the block and then open the chest itself, which is also locked. So let's just continue, I think. Hang on to the key for later. See if we can use it for something else. Um, we should be facing that little mini boss on this level. Because uh, that's where they were the first time. Gold mine three. Uh, if I go north, what do we have here? Come back. Oh, what? They do take the purple stuff? I thought they didn't. Oh, no. Okay, well, I've got some purple stuff now, so that's cool. Uh, this, this, this is a switch that charges you health to use. Uh, and we'll do something. I don't know what, but it might be something good, maybe. I don't know if I want to risk it. Let's just blow this up and get this instead. What do we have here? It's a money chest! It's full of money! Okay, uh, let's go this way. Uh, we got flies. Uh, I hit the lightning crystal, that's why I have lightning powers again. Again, time limited, but still cool. Uh, there we go. Neat. This probably is not an ideal game if you are a vegetarian. Unlike Dead Cells, there doesn't seem to be an option to, uh, you know, switch it around if you don't like to eat the meat. Which is a shame. Because, yeah, it would have been pretty easy to just have an option. Although, I guess Dead Cells doesn't have, like, flavour text for all the food, so... What does it? I can't remember. Okay, here's this guy. Um, let's just go this way. I'm guessing this will be- yeah, okay, here's the rock pile mimic. I'm guessing we fight this thing and we'll get the key to that- to that cave in the previous room. Okay, we are doing a lot of damage to this thing. Uh, so I think we'll be able to do it this time, maybe? Maybe. I'm not very good at dodging. Our range is very small. Uh, there's, there is an upgrade in the blacksmiths to increase the range of your throw, but right now it's pretty tiny. Ow. Okay, we're getting close. Oh god. We're also getting close to being dead. Oh no! Ah, oh, we're so close. Smashed by a sentient rock was I think we saw that same one already. <sighs> oh, this game is hard. Um, or I'm just bad at it. Either way. Uh, we'll respawn at the top again. Nailette. Uh, we have some more money, so we can do something else here. Let's see, I can buy, uh, better range damage, and I can buy better health. Tunic upgrade, uh, that's another 20 maximum health, that's, that's alright. And then I get this as well, that'll boost my throw damage, cool. So if we have a look at my stats now, boop. Yeah, I have two upgrades to that, one to that. I should read these out, right. Woolen gloves, wool mittens with a string connecting them. Breezy rags, some tired cloth scraps barely held together with failing string. Very breathable. Sturdy pickaxe, a shockingly good build for someone of questionable state of mind. Hmm. Patchwork sack, looks like it was cobbled together with whatever was left lying around. Okay, so we've upgraded uh, our damage and we've upgraded our health a little bit, so we may be a bit stronger on our next trip. I think I could have crafted those boots, but I forgot to. Uh, we can do it next time. Here we are again. Okay. Ow. 
Ow, I got bitten by that little rat. That's a bit rude. Okay, uh, there's a relic over here, so let's get that first. Oh, it's this thing again. Salamander tail. I already read this one out, so I won't do it again. <laughs> and there's something up here. It's a chest. Oh no! It's a naughty chest. No prizes here. Screaming uh, so just got a fly, a bit of meat. There we go. Enough eating meat that you find in crates in a gold mine is the best idea. Just, just a thought. Okay, we're going to be offered <clears throat> some more cursed items, so let's see if they're any good. Uh, in a moment, once I've prepared myself, off we go. Okay, so for one little curse and one big curse, we can have the rabbit gloves. Get a free item in every shop. Who pilfers the pilfers? I do. Black Rabbit. Sa Bomba. Killing enemies with a bomb spawns a new bomb. Carried bombs decrease swing and throw damage. A strange duplication device such as to any kind of bomb. Beware of side effects. Hmm. I don't think I want these. M maybe the gloves, but I don't think I visit enough shops for that to be worth getting super cursed at this stage. But I'm not very good at the game. Maybe later. Down I go. Thanks for your offers, though. Loading. Loading. Okay, we are now in Goldmine 2. I probably should have gotten the lightning after I got the gold out of this room. That wasn't a great plan. Oh well. Uh, off we go. Probably should have just left it there. You can leave stuff on the ground and it won't just be spawn. So if I'd left the meat there, then that would have been a smart move. Because then I could get it when I needed it. I had full health. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, thank you for the bomb from the sky. Oh, a potion. I haven't had one of those yet. Sundering serum. Temporarily increases swing size. Interesting. I may use that when we get to the little mini boss I keep having trouble with. Well, I, you know, now I've got slightly better stats, I might just be able to win that without needing any bonuses. We'll see. It's my treasure, not yours. We can't open any of those locked doors. We have no keys. There's one. We have a key now. Um, I think we want to go this way and get another relic. Ooh! Phantasmal Axe. Thrown pickaxes duplicate themselves. The axe is voracious and aggressively seeks new blood. So the deal with this one, uh, I believe when it hits something, like an enemy, is when it duplicates itself. So we'll see what it does when we actually get into a fight. Down we go. Gold mine three. Mm, uh, let's go this way first. Does the shop have anything we might need? We have full health right now. A key might be handy. Uh, we do have one. Potion of plenty. Mm, I think I'm good with the current potion. Uh, 
I think I'll leave this for now. I might come back to the shop if I decide I want something later. Yeah, you can see like when the axe hits something that like ghostly axe comes out and hits something else. It's helping a lot with all these little enemies. There we go. Uh, there might be some sort of power up in this room, so let's check here first. There's not, but there could have been. Ow. Supplies are doing pretty well, actually. We've got three bombs. Uh, and we got some key. We've well, got one key. Some, one, what's the difference? Okay, is this going to be the mini boss again? Yes. Let's drink that potion. Okay, yeah, we have a much bigger swing. So we can attack from a greater distance, which in theory should make it a bit easier. Oh, what is that? Alright, I'll look at the potion once this is done. I don't think I have time to drink it. Uh, although I might die before I can beat this guy, so hmm. I think I'm gonna do it this time, judging from the difference in our health. Yep, I beat it. I beat the Mimic. Yes! Oh, look at all this stuff. Not an ordinary rock. Uh, let's see, we got... The prisoner key. An ordinary key covered in scratches, dirt, and mud. Uh, we also got some blueprints. Bishop's bomb. Crafted at the blacksmith. And blast suit. Crafted at the blacksmith. Okay, so the potion we just got. Let's have a look at it. Antimatter. The next time you would take damage, gain that much health instead. The most brutal axe cleave becomes a soothing bath of vitality and can only be described as magic. Interesting. <sighs> okay, let's go back and save the little prisoner. I got your key. Here you go. Use prisoner key. Oi, thanks for the help, friend. Very glad to be out of that cage. Made it back top. Don't trust that wizard, but got nowhere else to go. Make sure to pay me a visit. I can upgrade those firecrackers you call bombs. Mimicked. A rock pile mimic? How in the hell did it fashion a cage with a lock and a key? So many questions, so I'm too hungry to care for the answers. Here, take this. I'll help you on your journey. A bomb. Thank you. Okay, uh, so let's go this way. Oh, that's a needle and thread? Sewing kit. Keep all your gold when you die. The best investment for the future is a needle and some thread. Okay, so that boosts your uh, gold keepy thing to 100%. Neat. That's real handy. I should be able to buy some neat stuff when I have that. Uh, should probably go back to the shop and maybe get some meat. Because I took some pretty nasty hits there in that fight. Uh, but first let's check out these rooms and see if there's anything else of interest. There's a chest here. Uh, let's have a look at what's inside. Okay. Uh, another bomb, some more gold. Hey you! Nerd. Okay, um... Anything in there? Nope. Yeah, let's go back to the shop and just, uh... Just kid ourselves out a bit. I'll smash that crystal on the way down. So that it lasts as long as possible. Shop is over this way. Okay, yeah, we can grab a bit of meat and I reckon a key. There we go. Uh, we're still not super healed up, but we'll, we'll do what, the best we can with what we've got. <laughs> okay, so goldmine four is next. That might be a problem. We'll see how we go.
Down we go. Loading. Still loading. You guessed it, still loading. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, uh... Okay, maybe I got it. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, I can see a key there. I need to use a bomb to reach it. Might be worth it. Ow! Yeah, let's go to the shop. What have you got for me? Oh, yes please, fish kebab. 30 health, that's good. Float potion. Another bomb. Hmm. I'll think about it. Thank you, Phantasmal Axe. Uh, did I get everything? Uh, I can't have, otherwise it would let me through. Uh, I was in the right there. There we go. Okay. Thieves. I've got a key. I like keys. Got another key. I like keys. <laughs> um, uh, what we got here? We've got a treasure chest that's going to take two keys to open. And it might not have something good in it. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. Oh, there's another key. Hmm. Okay, I do want to open this one and get the relic. Oh, what is it? Deal more throw damage at low health. A simple metal choker inscribed at the crest of the Hill Troll tribe. Interesting. Okay. Uh, grab a bit more gold. A bit more meat. Let's unlock these and find out what this is. Durability serum temporarily increases health. That sounds good. Uh, hang on. Let me drink this one first, and then I'll take this one with me. Uh, so this is a, a boss room. Um, I don't know if I'm ready. Let's find out. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so, um, spooky worm. Spooky worm. Do I hit the back part, or how do I damage it? Oh yeah. Yeah, you hit the back part. Ah! Oh yeah, I can dodge. I'm not very good at this game. Uh, that's scary. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Maybe? It doesn't seem likely. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Oh dear. Devoted her life to her job, but did it poorly. Oh dear. Well, we'll go back to the top level and see if we've got some more stuff now. There should be the bomb guy. There's the bomb guy. Hello, the bomb guy. Echo Blast. Upgrade your bombs to blow up new kinds of rocks. Ultrasonic waves weaken the foundation of rocks and really irritate cave bats. Black Powder Bomb. Upgrades the bomb from slightly dangerous to pretty dangerous. You sick of only sort of destroying things? Wanna really destroy some things? I'm your man! Stop up and check out these improvised bombs. These improved bombs. Sorry. Uh, I didn't know you could go up here. That's neat. Just hang out there on the, on the top level. 
Uh, hang on, I need to change my costume. I need to be a different person. That's cute. Uh, what's this do? Pick up gold at a distance. That sounds like a good idea. Gecko's foot. Uh, I would like a salt shaker, but items at Gecko's other foot. <laughs> uh, I can't afford that stuff. But yeah, picking up I picking up gold at a distance sounds helpful. Compared to what I was doing, which was not picking up gold at a distance. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's upgrade this weapon a bit. I'll rate these out once I've done them. And range. Okay. Uh, so we got a better pickaxe. Tempered pickaxe. Tempered metal really cuts down on vibration when bashing rats. Linen pullover. A pullover made of linen. Uh, I didn't change that one. Balanced counterweight. A carefully crafted weight that maintains a weapon's balance while it is in flight. And we also got the foot. So we should be a little bit stronger this time. I mean, we got we got a lot further there than I did before. I got all the way to the boss. Um, but I'm not really prepared to fight the boss. Uh, oh yeah, we want to craft this as well. Uh, let me see. I have 17. I could probably craft... Uh, I could craft both of these, but I don't really want to craft both of them. Let's get the boots. Wayland's boots. Break spikes, take names. Steel toad and seal soul. Not to be confused with toad vine. The steel soul, steel toad. Okay, so that gives us the item. If we craft another one, we don't get it. So I think I'll just craft that for now. Uh, and head back on down. Uh, we're coming up close to an hour, so this will be the last run. Uh, I may even interrupt it partway through to give thoughts, but... You get the basic idea of this game, and it looks pretty fun. Uh, I'm bad at it, but I imagine with some practice I would be less bad at it. Uh, I don't think I can break these yet. I think I need the Echo Blast upgrade or whatever to make my bombs break that. Also, I don't have any bombs with me, so that doesn't help either. Oh, that's not a good start. Oh dear. This is not going super well. Uh... Ah, oh, dang it. Accidentally jumped into the warp range, which means I lost a bit of gold there. Uh, if you had any bombs, you can see this wall is sparkling. I could blow open like a secret door there. But I don't have any bombs. So I can't. <laughs> uh, hello rats. Yeah, our range has gotten a bit better. That's nice. Oh, a key. Thank you. I mean, I already had a key. I could use a bomb, really. But... Thanks anyway. Hey, you have a bomb. Come back here. Eh, dang it. I don't think you can take their bombs. I think if you hit them, the bomb just explodes where you are. Which doesn't let you take it to another room, so... Wouldn't really help too much. Oh wait, I have the boots. I can just... Yeah, walk on the spikes. Heck yeah! <laughs> What's that, like a rat's, rat nest or something? Yeah, it's a rat nest, of course. Sucks to be rats. Uh, we can get another relic down here. Ooh, hello, what's this? Circinus. Circinus? Temporarily reveals secret rooms. Secret rooms can have secret rooms. An explorer's tool reveals any and all secrets. That is if the explorer is quick. I think it's like when you enter the room, it sparkles for a little while and then stops. Something like that. I'm not sure of the details exactly. Hey, cute bunny. Hello. Oh boy, look at you. Your hat is so on point. I am Black Rabbit the Adorable, Mother of Critters, Queen of the Tavern, and Destroyer of Hot Cross Buns. Heads up though, fashionable one, someone took out a rock pile mimic around here, and ever since, 
Well, bad things are making their way up from the depths, which is why you need this. What do you say? Blueprints don't normally come this cheap. For you, my friend, the family discount. She's adorable. Lucky charm. Huh, the doofus bought it, a useless scrap of paper. Make a fortune off these suckers. Oops, I said the quiet part loud again. What I meant to say is, thank you for your patronage. I hope to do business with you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Look now, pilvers out of every nook and cranny. Seriously. Um, I'm just cleaning up. You've got a bunch of junk in your house. Beep. Get rich or die trying. Oh, cute. Uh... Thank you for your patronage. I look forward to this being the beginning of a long and loving relationship between a very smart businesswoman and her customers, who are also smart and not suckers. She's cute. Oh, I, I want her to be my friend. <laughs> She's adorable. Oh, what have we here? Uh, I mean, I can see some bombs, but I can't reach them. Hmm. If I had any bombs, I could blow my way in there and get get some more bombs, but I don't have any bombs, so I can't really do anything. Uh, let's just make sure destroying this shrubbery doesn't give me a bomb. Yeah, looks like it. Alright, down we go. Oh, hello. Come back here, hoarding pilfer. Ah! Okay, uh, we got a decent amount of money out of that. That was cool. Uh, down the hatch. Okay. Loading. 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 Here we are. Call by two. I think I already made the if gold mine is so good joke, so. Oh, uh, you're a rat matron. Hello, rat matron. Okay, uh, got some explosives. I can set them off at a distance like this, which won't hurt me. Unless the shrapnel hits me, which it can. Uh, then we've got a little exit over here. What's this? Offer? Oh, I can give up one of my relics? Uh, do I get a prize? Uh, well, I did it. Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to do anything. Let's see what happens. Maybe I get favoured by the gods or something. Uh, hang on. What's over here? Nothing? Alright. Just wanted to make sure. There's a relic behind this door, so let's go get it. Ooh, it's a blue thing. What's the blue thing? Sonic Boom. Throw really fast. Used by champion pickaxe tosses. Oh uh, yeah, that is real fast. Cool. <laughs> so our throwing is real good now. That's nice. Um... Hello. What's that? Impish key bomb. Swap your items around. I'm not sure if it actually changes your items or if it just messes you up so bad that you think it did. Uh, I'll take that. I like to heal. Now I'm gonna break all this stuff. Oh. 
Okay, um, I can go down a level by going over there, but let's have a quick look around first. Here's a chest. Open, there's something good. Yeah, another bomb. I like to have a couple bombs in my inventory. It's always handy. Uh, and over here. Oh, hello secret. What have I found? Demolitionist. Uh, what am I looking at here? Am I supposed to do something in this room? I got the spike boots. You want me to step on the spikes with them? What's going on? Looks like I can step on the spikes and break them. If that helps. Doesn't seem to have done anything though. Um. Alright then. Okay, there's an event down here as well. Uh, hello. Are oh, you a friend? Oh, hello, human servant. Perhaps you can help me? Baba has sent me below in search of three particular mushrooms. They are nothing like these pathetic ordinary mushrooms. They are unique, with special qualities. I'm not allowed to return until I find them. Baba has no sympathy for my condition. If you happen upon those mushrooms, will you bring them to me so I can leave this dank and dreary cavern? Uh, sure. Uh, I don't know what mushrooms they are, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, they're not these ones? I assume they're not those ones. Got another key. Uh, down we go. Gold mine three. Sequel to gold mine two. Oh, third in the trilogy. <laughs> um, here we are. Okay, I can spend a key here to get a relic. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good to have. Salamander tail. Uh, let's try this way. Poisoned. Didn't last too long, thankfully. Just a few seconds of poison. That's how long poison lasts, I'm pretty sure. Just a second. Cool. Uh, okay, there's some meat in this room, apparently, but there's also monsters. So let's uh, watch out. Okay, there's one more lurker, there it is. Okay, let's grab the meat. Okay, there's the stairs, but I think I want to keep looking around a little bit more on this level. Uh, see what I can discover. Okay, here's a locked chest. I have a key, so I can open it. in here. Uh, meat. I like meat. Uh, cool. And a bit of gold. It's always good to have a little bit of gold. Uh, let's try going the other way and see what's the other way. Maybe there's some relics? I do like the occasional relic. <laughs> okay, uh, we got this guy. We got that guy. Is that a bad guy? Yes. 
the travel fly. Okay, uh... Bobo, -bo, please calm down. Oh god, Bobo -bo is very strong. Bobo -bo does a lot of damage. Okay. That was scary. Um, let's put a gold here in the wall we can get. There we go. And we can go this way. There's more Bobo. Can we lure him to break this section up here? Hey Bobo. Yes, we can. I think. Does that actually break it or not? I'm not really sure. Like, it looks like it's been broken, but there's still, like, ghosts here or something. Oh, a secret. Cool. Okay, so we can go both those ways now. Uh, let's get the secret. It's a chest! And the skeleton who had a key. Oh, look at all this gold. Love me some gold. Hilfers, no! It's my gold. Okay, it's their gold too, I guess. We can share. Uh, we can go this way. Uh, hello? Are you the special mushroom I'm looking for? You are quite scary. Oh no, I can talk to you. Thank you, True Stork Cousin, for saving me and my children from those disgusting Four Stork Traders. Please take my eldest spawn and help me proliferate these caves. Uh, okay. Get. Shitaki, eldest spawn of Matsutake. Uh. Okay. I guess I can do that. It's kind of weird, but alright. <laughs> Um, and we can go to the shop, which is probably a good idea, because I'm a little low on health. Oh, what is that thing? Leftovers. Find old gross food in chests. Food in a chest is downright normal compared to storing a turkey in the wall. Tension chest. Yeah, I'll take that. And then I'll take that. Uh, now I'll smash some of these, just in case. In case you're hiding some good stuff in here. All good stuff belongs to me, Servia. Servia? Me. This this person. <laughs> okay, this video is kind of running kind of long. I kind of thought I'd die quicker. Uh, I'll, I'll just finish this run, and, and then I'll start giving myself like thoughts as we go. So yeah, this game looks pretty great. Um. The, like, aesthetic is gorgeous, um, it's a lot of fun, um, the controls are kind of confusing, uh, it makes sense to put throwing on a shoulder button, but I keep expecting it to be on X, and X is the, like, potion button. Uh, I guess I just need to get used to it, but it, it is a little confusing. Uh, I think I'm expecting it to work more like Hades, where you have Y button for regular attack and X for your special. Uh, which is, like, usually a ranged attack. Because it's, it's, you know, it plays similarly to Hades, in some respects, but not others. <laughs> uh, what's that? That's gold potion. Yeah. I don't think I need that. I do want whatever this is, though. Probably. Oh, it's a mask. War paint, relic, increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. Intimidate your enemies with dark lines and blacked out eye sockets. Oh, maybe just some cute whiskers? Yeah, I love cute whiskers. Let's go. Uh, the game is a little, like, perhaps overwhelmingly difficult at the beginning. Um, I think it's just, you know, because I'm not dodging as much as I should be, but it is hard. Uh, oh no! Uh, uh, I do keep falling off gaps and stuff. I know that there's like hover boots in this game that you can get to avoid that, but they're pretty uncommon. 
Hopefully I, hopefully I can find some. Uh, let's see. And yeah, they're like a relic, so you lose them uh, at the end of each run as well. Ow. I'm taking a lot of hits here. Ow. These things' movements are quite confusing. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, I'm not really ready to take on the boss yet. Um. Oh dear, oh no. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna happen. Okay, well, that's it for this video, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this game is three days from retirement. Oh no. So this game, yeah, is called something. It's called Undermine, and it's a roguelike, and it's pretty fun. Uh, if you liked, you know, sort of the gameplay of the Binding game, but you want it to be a little more uh, palatable to the eye, I guess. Fewer poops on screen. Then uh, this is a game that, that will offer that. Uh, and you can, like, randomize your character's appearance by talking to this mirror, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's proving pretty difficult. Um, having a lot of trouble, but it's fun, uh, and hopefully I'll get better at it. And yeah, you just dodge stuff by jumping, which is interesting. Instead of having like a dedicated dodge or something, like in Hades where you dash, in this one you just jump over everything. Uh, which I guess is why you're allowed to stand on these, because they figured, you know, you're jumping everywhere anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, Undermine, uh, if you get it on Steam or whatever instead of on the Switch, it's probably going to be a little bit better at the moment. As I mentioned, there's like a patch that hasn't come out on the Switch yet because Nintendo is still auditing it or whatever it is they do. Uh, so the Switch version is probably like objectively the worst version, but it won't be. Like they are going to port, put the patch across, it just hasn't happened yet. So yeah. Uh, what else do I need to upgrade? I'll bring my gold next. Potato sack. Just a sack used for hauling potatoes. If you say so. Um, okay, now those are all ranked 2. This thing's still rank 1, but counterweights are really expensive for some reason. Wait, does that say? A premium counterweight measured and engineered to one tenth of a bit. The highest standard of quality. <laughs> A bit, because it's a pixely game. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, oh, that's real expensive. Uh, I would like the blast suit, but I can't afford it. Oh, so yeah, this is this game. Uh, it's fun. Uh, it's hard though, but it's fun. So, you know, if you like this sort of gameplay, then it exists. Um, a perhaps a word of warning. Uh, I haven't gotten to see this in the video, but I know because my housemates have been playing. The bosses, uh, that mini boss that I fought already, and the actual like area bosses, don't respawn. Like on later runs, they are not there. You do not fight them again. I don't know why that is. Oh, okay, go away. The watch is closed. Um, but yeah, they, they stay dead, and so the run doesn't, doesn't like, involve taking on the boss with different equipment each time, that sort of thing, like it does in Dead Cells or Hades or, uh, the, the Binding game, any of those things. Uh, it's different. Uh, it's a weird choice. Also kind of a weird choice to make, like, gold, uh, which you use to spend on items during a run, also the currency for upgrading. Uh, if you think about the other games I mentioned, especially Hades, like Hades has darkness and it has obol, and you know, you lose all your obol, you keep your darkness, and they're used for separate things. Uh, whereas here, it's gold, and you keep some of your gold, and then you spend it here, if you have enough. It's, it's a little strange. Um... I... Maybe that's how, like, Rogue Legacy worked? I can't remember. I think that one... I think Rogue Legacy did something similar to this one, but I haven't played Rogue Legacy in ages, because I didn't really get into that one. Uh, Dead Cells, though, for example, 
it also has separate things. You use cells uh, for permanent upgrades and you use like coin or gold or whatever for uh, mid-run items you can buy. So yeah. Uh, whereas this one, yeah, it's all the same money. You also have thorium, of course, which is permanent to permanent stuff. You never lose your thorium. Uh, that's just for like crafting things. But yeah, yeah that's weird. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, you may have noticed a bit of like an anti-capitalist vibe here where like the company still owns the glasses we bought and anything we buy belongs to them and stuff like that. Um, and that we're like, you know, interchangeable peasants uh, and the wizard doesn't even care to know our names and that sort of shit. Um, yeah, that's deliberate. Uh, that is an intentional part of the game and I think it gets developed further, so, you know, look, look forward to that if you play the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about all I've got to say, really. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for the video. I just made a mess on the floor by smashing that little canister of oil. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, give this a shot if you want to play this game that I've just played, if it looks like a fun time. Uh, yeah. Bye!